At 6 o'clock, we had NC Central, who's 1-1, one one, traveling to UNC, who's also 2-0. UNC favored by 37.5 points on ESPN+. Plus. Connor Harrell has gone 18-29, of 29, thrown for 253 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. O'Marion Hampton has had 41 carries for 206 yards, and J.J. Jones had five catches for 83 yards. Um, so I'm a little bit... In, this game's a little bit interesting to me, simply because... Um, what does UNC look like? Is it a decent football team? Because I don't know. They went on the road. They beat Minnesota. That's a good win, especially with your quarterback getting hurt, right? Like, your quarterback goes down in the third quarter. You're down already. A lot of the teams would fold there. They would lose that football game. But UNC found a way to come back and win that football game without a lot happening through the air, right? And it's like, okay, this week... You're going to have to show a lot through the air. And they did a decent amount. Again, there's a recent Connor Harrell barely had any yards in the Minnesota game, and he's up to 253 already to see it. He had a solid game against Charlotte. But Charlotte was still hanging around. Come like the late third, right, is when they started pulling away. But Charlotte's not a good enough football team, at least in my opinion. To be fair, we don't know anything about Charlotte, really. They've played James Madison and UNC, two teams that are still undefeated heading into this point, right? So we don't know that much about Charlotte. Maybe Charlotte's a decent football team this year. But um, it's just like, what do we know about UNC? Can Mac Brown make Connor Harrell into a good QB? Because remember, he was competing with, um, with the and guy that ended up winning the job. Uh, for UNC, Connor Harrell was competing with him for that job, um, and he just ended up losing it in spring training camp, right? So the, the competition was going on, though, for a long time. I think this game is a possibility of, it's a great game for Connor Harrell to really get adjusted to this offense, really get in the groove of things, heading into a tough ACC play. Um, but again, like just like I was saying with Duke, when you start hitting the week four undefeated, you, a lot of people are going to start saying maybe, maybe there's something there. Maybe there is something there, and there might be something there for UNC. They still have Mac Brown as their head coach. Marion Hampton is still a star. J.J. Jones is a beast of a wide receiver, and if Connor Harrell can just play competently well, UNC could be a decent team this year, and honestly, they could be a team that you, you start looking at like maybe there's something there. I like UNC to win and cover at home.